Our clinical trials facility opened in November 2009. We've had a significant increase in the number of studies which we're being requested to perform and we're now working in cramped conditions which are becoming increasingly unsuitable for our work. Our development plans will allow us to become one of the world's leading clinical research facilities, enabling us to save and improve the lives of more children. Ava, our daughter, was diagnosed with an extremely rare um, metabolic disorder. Um, we noticed Ava's tummy was becoming swollen. Because Ava was the only baby we were seeing on a regular basis, you know, they were saying, well, maybe, you know, it'll go when she starts walking or, you know, um, when she goes on to maybe more solid food. And we were just saying, OK, well, you know, we were asking no more questions that that was it, that, you know, Ava was going to be, Ava was going to be OK and it was perfectly normal, you know, for this to happen. Without the treatment, Ava wouldn't be here, so she wouldn't. From the time she was diagnosed, to the time we actually left Ireland to come to Manchester starting the treatment, she deteriorated an awful lot. She just wasn't herself. I say she only had days left before she started the trial, and without the trial she definitely wouldn't be here. As the days went on, we could see, both myself and Aoife as parents, could see Ava becoming, just getting worse. With the trial, I think we didn't know what to expect. Only, um, nobody could give us any definite answers because it's a trial. Nobody knows what the future holds. Um, but thankfully it has worked, you know, 100% and she's having no reactions, thank God. And, you know, she's just doing very, very well and she's putting on weight and she's learned to walk and she's doing everything she should be for her age and she's happy. I always say to Aoife, like, Aoife on the 26th of September gave me beautiful baby girl, but I do say in Manchester Hospital, give her me again. What we could do as a couple, we, we could never repay that because they give us our daughter. For a number of the studies that we conduct, we are the only centre in the UK conducting that study. And for many studies, we're the only centre in the world. Ava's family were initially seen at a local hospital and later in Dublin. And following the diagnosis, were transferred here to Manchester for treatment, the only centre in the world able to offer participation in this clinical trial of a life-saving enzyme to restore her health back to normality. Um, Archie is 12, the oldest one, Isaac is 10. They both have a condition called Morpheus syndrome, which is a very rare genetic condition uh, that causes various physical disabilities. Underlying problem with the condition is a particular enzyme that is missing from their bodies that everybody else's body produces. And so the treatment that they've been having in the research unit is to try and artificially put that enzyme back in their body and see if that improves their growth and their health into the future. The treatment is an infusion, so they get connected up to a drip, they have a cannula put in their arms, and then it's about four hours that they have on the infusion. We've been looking at their stamina, how far they can walk, how healthy they've been in terms of coughs and colds and things. And we're fairly confident that it, that it has worked, that they have as much, if not more, stamina than they had at the beginning to carry on long term will be to avoid some of those real health complications as they get older. The results of these studies have shown that uh, the progress of the disease, this is a condition where uh, lung function gets poorer and ability to exercise gets poorer with time. And this study's shown an improvement in these parameters. The ultimate goal of these studies would be that these abnormalities would be diagnosed very early in life, perhaps antenatally before the baby is born. And this would allow treatment to commence in very early newborn life and hopefully prevent 
any abnormalities from developing and allowing the child to develop into an entirely healthy, normally grown child. Maximus um, is five in December now. He has cerebral palsy and was born with bilateral um, sensorineural deafness. So it's the deformity or non-production of something inside his cochlea. From a very small age, he actually learned how to lip read. You could see him looking. So my sister's called Michelle and he, he thought she was called Elle because he didn't hear the mm and the shh. He was going, I don't look at it, he's thinking, I don't really know what that is. You know, I can see your mouth moving, but there's nothing coming out. And that was why we were put forward for the actual implant, due to the fact that you would never access those sounds. When I think back to um, originally, when we first uh, found out that he was deaf, um, for example, I mean, I, I would sat and often thought to myself, I'm ever going to hear his voice. Um, and now it looks like we're not going to be able to shut him up. It's just, it's fantastic. A miracle, I think, is one of the words I use. We came in and the staff were amazing and you notice that everyone's doing the job and even though we were frantic, they were just so, so nice with us and this took a lot of time to make us calm. You think there needs to be more space, and there needs to be more areas where the research can be done and there's going to be more staff and more, more places for children to actually get the operations that they need. A new centre you know, with more support you know, is just going to be you know, incredible to see a child come from, you know, that's saying barely nothing at all to, uh, you know, complete sentences, stories, songs, scripts of films, uh, which he loves, um, you know, it's, it's something very special. Without the type of clinical research that we're performing here in Manchester, there will be little or very slow progress in the treatment of previously untreatable disorders. The new unit which we hope to develop will increase our number of research beds and allow us to both increase the number of children who can participate in clinical trials, but also increase the diversity of the work which we can perform here in Manchester. Our aim is to develop our facility within the heart of the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital into one of the leading research facilities in the United Kingdom and Europe looking at new therapies for children with a wide range of diseases. We consider that to be a, a, a very important goal for us.